Hello, so today I'm going to be setting up this tank for some golden long finned ribbon guppies. The tank is from Pets at Home and that beautiful stand that I put together yesterday is from Ikea for £35. I found it for about half the price you'll get for a fish stand either on Amazon or at the pet store. Let's hope it holds. So for the filter, um, I've got one of these Aqua One Better Trio tanks and in the back there was a spare compartment so I put a couple of sponge filters and so they are now seeded with good bacteria so I won't need to cycle the tank. Now for the gravel, I will be using this gravel I got from Maidenhead Aquatics. The good thing about it, it only needs a light rinse because most of it's been washed already. Usually I'll do it in the bag and just punch some holes in the bag and let it drain through but because it's such a big bag of Well, that was good. Oh well. I've also taken some of the old gravel from the old tank and put it in there again to boost the um, bacteria. Now I'm gonna siphon some of the water out of the old tank and put it into the new tank. But first, I'm gonna make sure So just about filled the tank halfway with old tank water and I'll be using fresh water with AquaSafe to make the water safe um, from chlorine and etc etc etc. So here's a little hack for your air filter. Now I first saw this on Aquarium Co-ops videos and also Irene Girl with Fish or Girl Talks Fish or Girl Talks Tanks, something like that. Sorry Irene. First you take your air filter apart. Then you take the bottom out, cut the bottom out, thread an air tube through and place um, an air stone to it. And then just pull, in this case, this is a small filter, um, pull the air stone up. Might help if you put the sponge on, being a sponge filter. Place the bottom on and then just thread that through. Didn't have any trouble at all. I ran out of battery. Honest, honest, Gov. I wasn't fighting to get that tube back in the sponge filter. Now, two reasons you would do this is A, it's so much quieter. And two, the bubbles the air stone produces are that much smaller. Therefore, it oxygenates the water that much better. I'm also adding live bacteria to the um, tank to help keep the bacteria levels up. So I've put the other sponge filter in here because that's loaded with good bacteria. At the moment, just to finish off, I've added uh, a few bits of wood from my other, one of my other tanks and also some floating plants. So that also should contain loads of bacteria, good bacteria. We all go on about good bacteria and I see I've let a snail go in there already. So I'm going to be leaving it for 24 hours now just to check um, everything's working all right. I haven't used the tank in a few months, so I'm going to check I haven't got a leak. That'd be great, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's actually a couple of days later. Slight problem, um, two of these USB pumps gave up on me, so I've been messing around switching pumps and filters on various tanks. And also, someone not a million miles away from here when setting up the tank might have forgot to put the heater on. Don't know who it was. It wasn't me. So here are the parents, golden long finned ribbon guppies. And for once we've got a female guppy that looks as good as male, in my opinion. Don't you think?
And finally, you know what's coming. If you'd like, please subscribe to my channel, press the thumbs up, and if I've forgotten anything or you'd like to leave a question, please leave a comment 